Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel and we made it here to St. Charles at Sandem Sandermeyer Sandermeyer RV Park here at St. Charles. Now you hear that noise right now. I don't know whether that's the park or the property next door where they're doing what looks like construction. But that was on all night. Did not sleep well. It's loud. I would rather have railroad tracks because you know the, the train whistle blows and you hear the clink, 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 clink. And I don't mind railroad track noise. But this was a constant noise all night. And I just did not sleep well because of it. Hopefully this will not be here for our nine night stay here because it's going to be a horrible, horrible evening night sleep. So right now, just because of this noise, I would not recommend staying here. There are other factors and I will talk about it later, but right now I've got to eat something, kind of make breakfast. There are other reasons why I would never stay in this park because of the office right over here there is a bigot bigoted old man who I will I will explain later all right full hookup 50 amps water water pressure is high so they do recommend that you have a water regulator and sewer so everything is good in regards to the hookup starting our Lewis and Clark tour with Fantasy RV Tours here in St. Charles and that is a statue of Lewis and Clark. Lewis and Clark and a very large dog. Yes. Alright so from here on in it will be Fantasy RV Tours until we get to somewhere in Oregon. Somewhere in the coast of Oregon. Okay. All right, so come Thank along. Alright bye. There is the Missouri River statue, downtown, Old Town St. Charles, with a, which is 2nd Street, but we call it Brick Road, because it's brick. <laughs> and we're gonna have lunch somewhere between here and where the car is, over there. <laughs> Okay, this is Brick Street, 2nd Street, it's not leveled, potholes, hot hot ruts, <laughs> stepped in a pothole already, <laughs> it's a wonderful street to, to walk down, there's a lot of curio shops, restaurants and it's currently May 22nd and a lot of the places do not require a mask as long as you've had your COVID shot we're gonna find a restaurant somewhere on the street to have luncheon <laughs> Well, walk, it looks like there's more things on that side. You crossed the street? Well, I wanted to show them the street. <laughs> more bicycle. It's a bike shop. It's a bike shop. Okay, there's a bike shop. Yes. It's a it's clock, clock shop. It's a clock shop. Yeah, their lunch menu is reasonably priced too. Okay. So, we'll ask. We'll ask. Yeah, I don't know if I can have food. Oh. Air conditioning. Oh, <laughs> oh this is so oh look at this copper roof. Ceiling, copper ceiling. We are having sangria 
and Walter is having iced tea. Iced tea. This is quite small. It's the, about the Thank size you so of my much. Chum. That I is. Um, I was expecting a, more. That and Walter is, a, is having breakfast. I'm having breakfast. You might have to eat some of mine. Uh, I'm going to have to reorder something else. Well, this I'm gonna is give not you, enough food. Give you a piece of toast. Okay. All right. I'm having the pork chops. However. What I really like is this knife. There's a little tab right here where you put your finger on it to cut it. Brilliant! Oh my goodness! I am still, and I've already, I did not only sleep on this, but it's now a week later. And we're still, we are still here in St. Charles at the Sunder Meyer. RV park. There's a sign right there. That's what I'm reading. And I'm still very annoyed with it. The I have found out from just the locals, talking to the locals here in St. Charles, grocery store, laundry mats. I love talking to people. Anyway, I did find out that the people behind the front desk are work campers. And they have essentially lied to me, and I don't care for that. And also, what they did do, let me explain, is when we originally checked in, the man behind the counter says that he couldn't find my name, and I said, it's right there. And they don't use a computer system here. They use a journal with pen, with pencil and eraser they journal it in this book it's it's like it's 1970 they've never heard of what a computer is so my name was right down there and i told him i was with fantasy rv tours and then he started looking up my name now this is not their fault but fantasy's fault regarding the name on the registry the name on the registry is uh, RV Goji. Anyway, the last name on the registry for Fantasy RV Tour has Walter's last name slash my last name. And this park didn't have the foresight to actually look at that when I made the reservations under my name. So we, I booked a week. I can't say this. I booked a week before the caravan started under my last name. And I, the old, stodgy old man behind the registrar essentially said, well, I can't find your last name. I said, it's right there. And he said, and I told him I was with Fantasy RV Tours. And Fantasy had registered Walter's last name hyphen my last name so they did not put the two reservations together so on Monday when the caravan starts I have to move to a half space because they think my rig is a 50 is a 30 amp that has me pissed off also just because I have a trailer and people of a certain age, anyone above, anyway, 60, has this mentality that a trailer is only 30 amps. Well, you know what? Phones used to have to be connected to a, you have to plug in phones before, and computers were this big before, and yes, at one time they were, but they're not anymore. We're in the modern age. Most, they're, they're making 100 amp A-class RVs now. And yes, a lot of trailers are now, especially Airstreams. They make, what is it, 23 foot Airstreams with two air conditioning units that require 50 amps. We're 27 feet. Yes, it is a trailer, but it requires 50 amps. The electronics we have in this trailer is incredible for being on the road. And a lot of the equipment that I use 
are not RV equipments. The heater, my our ice maker, my coffee maker. They were, they pull in a lot of campage. Anyway, going off topic here. Anyway, so the old man behind the counter starts rumbling at me saying that it's like I did I know what I've been doing. I know what I'm doing. I've been here for weeks and don't tell me what to do. It's like I didn't tell you what to do. I just merely pointed out my last name is right there. So instead of him trying to fix the situation, he just essentially cussed me out, started cussing, just cussing in general, and didn't help us whatsoever. And this is what really ticked me off. And this is why I think the work camper who is here, and he's from Texas, his RV is right there across from us, is a goddamn bigot. And you guys ever hire him again. And I will be posting this in every RV log that I can find. The work camper here is a bigot and a racist. And let me tell you why he's a racist. Because after I pointed it out, cussed me out for no apparent reason. I, did, I was as polite to him as I could be. He ignored me. Walter, who didn't say anything, all of a sudden he was dealing with Walter regarding my reservation. And Walter's name is not on my reservation. So essentially he gave up my RV space, 50 amp water sewer hookup, to a white guy, didn't ID him, took his credit card, and Walter filled out the paperwork. He filled out the paperwork with his last name, not mine. So the work camper essentially gave away my site to a white person because he didn't want to deal with me anymore. Seriously? No, I don't think he's a grouchy old man. I just think he's a racist bigot next day I went in and asked them how we do the propane fill do I just leave it at the end of the curb or do I drive it up to the propane station which is right over here not very far from us it's right there maybe it's 50 feet away maybe it's 50 feet away they had the gall to tell me that they were out of propane so like okay fine you're out of propane so I didn't think any more of it the next day was a rest day and our back window is all window and I had I had it open the curtains open propane tank never came that morning and at about 9 30 that morning they had someone over here and that old guy that old man was helping him fill propane his propane tank 30 gallon propane tank filled it and told me that they were out of propane essentially they didn't want to help me either no he's just a racist bigot I, I'm counting it on that he doesn't want to help brown people he doesn't want to help anyone of color ethnic, ethnicity he just wants to help white people that is my experience here at Sandermeyer they're racist. Not enjoying this park. We came here a week early so I could do a lot of the pre prep work for our caravan, but I was faced with racism. That's what I have to say about this particular park. Their work campers are racist. That's what it comes down to. And it's very sad as a reflection of Texas, is where their plates are from because everyone from Texas I've ever met has been the most accommodating, friendly, non-biased people in the whole United States. They're the friendliest people in our country, the Texans, except this one. And it makes sense that he's not even in Texas. He may, he may be from Texas, but he probably had to get out. I don't know. I'm still very mad about this. Not happy. I've only faced racism three times in my life, and this was the third time. 
and it was very light as far as I'm concerned. So I hope that Fantasy RV Tours does take this in consideration. I, I'm not happy with it. In fact, here they are. That is what races bigots look like. It's part of the RV tour. It's the day before the official start of the caravan. They've got two A classes over here that they're trying to find a space for. And they've got two more over here that are ready to go also. And the annoying thing is we're supposed to be back to back. So someone is supposed to occupy half of this space and tomorrow we're moving to the oh other God, space over there. <laughs> but someone is someone is space. Huh? Someone's reserved this space tomorrow. Right, but we need this space for one night. Oh. Don't you be taking no pictures of all this craziness. Of course I am. You would just you would go in dark box. No, you back in right here. But it needs back it because what you're doing is you're looking for. Here we are at the start of the tour. We're all lined up in one centralized location. As you can see, Wanda's among the smallest ones here. Everyone else has an A-class with a toad. A toad is our biology for, what is it, tow? Tow vehicle. Tow vehicle. And we are number five. We don't have a first time decal because this is tour number two for us. Number 25 has a lifetime member. Oh, number 25, they're lifetime members. I think that means they took the And team. here's one of the smallest ones, I think. I don't know yet. They've got a Sprinter Mercedes van, which are actually very nice inside. Believe it or not, these have full showers. That's our wagon master. They always have number one. 23. Looks like everyone else is in an A-class. Number three. Number three. There's a first tour. There's lifetime member. There's a lot of lifetime members here. Another first tour. Another first tour. A-class, A-class. First tour. Lifetime. Well, that whole table last night was all 10, 11, 14. We're all on number two. Well, they're from, they were all from Big Bear, California, and they travel together. Oh, oh. Here, here's one that's a no one. Just tell me if you don't want to be on YouTube. I don't care. Okay. We're just doing a walk. This is back to back too. Okay, this is what I don't like about one 
one of the things I don't like about this park, we're doing back to back. There's so many things about this park I do not like. I really wish Fantasy would find another park for the starting ground because this Sander Meyer, horrible, horrible park. Well, and and apparently they have a rating of one on Yelp. Yeah. On Yelp. <gasps> oh my goodness, look at them. Look, they've almost filled up their entire map. Wow. Yeah, and last night, because Sandemeyer screwed up some other people's reservations, they arrived with no space. So we moved out of the space we paid for into a half space. And they took our space that we paid for for last night, and then Sandemeyer was harassing them. Well, you haven't paid for that space. You need to come in and pay for it. And we told them, hey, we paid for that space. Don't you dare pay for it again. And so we agreed last night that they would only pay if they gave us a refund. And so the wagon master then came and told us that he took care of everything, which means he probably gave them money that they weren't entitled to. But he didn't want the drama this morning. You know what? We're going to leave it. But we'll leave it. We'll leave it. But I've said my piece in the video this before this one. So, yeah. Well, I intended to tell them when we were in there that there were only honest people on our side of the counter. Okay, see, we're back. They're back to back here, too. So we've got a van and a trailer. So. These are the tail gunners. The, this is Mark and Joni. You've seen them before. They were our wagon masters for the Alaska trip, which was fabulous. And here we are back to back with them. Don't like it. Wasn't happy. However, I did have to back up. But with the help of Mark, thank you, Mark, I was able to back up. And I haven't backed up since Alaska, when Mark helped me the last time. Yes. yes. And you are. <laughs> Guy and Cindy. Oh yes, the troublemakers. We have seen like 24 rigs. Okay, there's a couple missing. Maybe they'll come in later today. Actually, they should be coming in now. Official, official tour. Everyone, all was, everyone was here except one. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Right here we are again. Number five. So, we, do we need to bring our book? At three o'clock? Yeah. Oh. So, I don't like this setup. Don't like it at all. Yes. How are you doing? Hello. Are you doing a tour here? Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. Kind of. I'm, I'm around telling around my my twelve away. viewers that I don't like the fact that we're they squeezed in. To share spaces and yeah, somebody yeah. gets fifty and somebody gets thirty and you know. Um, uh, I think when we write the review at the end of this trip, uh, 